So we all know that Excel is really good for doing calculations, but it can also be used for counting. And there's two I want to show you. It's count if and also count ifs. Now count if I've done in another uh, tutorial, so I'm just going to go over that one very quickly here. In that I've got a spreadsheet here. It's got some software, and you can see they're made by Microsoft, Apple, and Adobe, and whether or not they work on a Mac or PC. I do have another sheet here that has got different foods, their food types, and how many calories. And I'm going to come back to this one so that I can look at which fruit has, say, over 50 calories. Over here, I'm going to count up how many times Microsoft appears. I'm going to use count ifs to find how many times Microsoft appears that works on a Mac. So let's quickly have a look at the count if one again. So I'm just going to go to more functions, choose statistical. And you'll see it's right here, count if, and below it is count ifs, but we're going to get to that one in a different way. So I'm just going to go to count if. So the range that I want is this range here, and the criteria, I can type it in. It doesn't have to be the right case, but you do have to spell it correctly so it's not case sensitive. And I'm going to click on OK, and it's telling me that there are five made by Microsoft, and there are indeed five there. But what if I want to know how many times Microsoft comes up with Mac software? So I can do that by using count ifs. Now I could go into more functions, statistical, and choose it here. Mm -hmm. But you can also go to insert function on the formula bar here, and you can just scroll down. You'll see I'm already on the statistical category here. And there it is, I just went straight past it. There's count ifs, click on OK. Now this time, it's only showing me one criteria range until I start filling it out. So the first bit of criteria range is this same one here. And the criteria is Microsoft. And I could type that in, or I could just click on this cell here. So if you've really got it in there, you don't have to type it again. The second criteria range is this one here. Now the thing you have to do is they have to be the same size. So if it's one column by, say, 10 rows down, the criteria 2 range and all subsequent ones also have to be one column by, say, 10 down. And you can have multiple columns and you can have multiple rows, but they do have to be the same. As you can see, it's not the same range. They just have to be the same size. So for this one here, I'm just going to type in Y. So you can see. As I keep clicking, it's adding more criteria ranges, and you can have up to 127 of them. I don't need that many today. So I'm just going to click on OK, and you can see total Microsoft on a Mac comes up three times. And if you were to look down this list, that would be correct. And we could change one. Say this one Microsoft Outlook. Let's change that to a yes, and you'll immediately see that changes to the number four. So in this spreadsheet, I have got different foods and their food types and their calories. And I want to find fruit that's greater than or equal to 50 calories. So to do that, I'm going to use my count ifs. It is under my recently used because I've just used it. So I'm just going to click on that. The criteria range, first thing I want to find out is the fruit. So I'm just going to highlight that and type in fruit. So that's doing that bit for me. The next bit is to find out those that have got calories over 50. So I'm just going to highlight the calories. So hopefully you know that's the greater than symbol, and I can type in 50. That will find any fruit now that has a calorie content of greater than 50. If I wanted to include the 50, I do like that, greater than or equal to 50. It doesn't work if you do it this way around. Don't do that. You want the greater than. Or you could have, in fact, the less than if you wanted. And by the way, just want to point out these calories, I did find them on the internet. I'm not sure just how accurate they are. Please don't go and base a diet on the information I've got here. Okay, so just wanted to point that out to you. So this is now going to find fruit of greater than or equal to 50 calories. I'm going to click on OK, and there are five. What would be really neat if it highlighted them. For that, you would need something like conditional formatting. But for right now, the count ifs is showing me how many different fruits are over 50 calories. So perhaps those are ones I want 
once in a while. So that's how to use countifs, so you can count up different criteria on different ranges within Excel.